Hello, in today's episode we are going to talk about Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus is a herbivorous dinosaur from the Cretaceous period, about 75.5 to 75 million years ago. It had four to six long parietal spikes extending from its neck frill, a smaller eugal horn on each of its cheeks, and a single horn protruding from its nose, which may have been up to 60 cm long and 15 cm wide. Styracosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur, reaching lengths of 5.5 meters and weighing nearly 3 tons. It stood about 1.8 meters tall. This made it slightly larger than average modern-day rhinoceros. The skull had a beak and shearing cheek teeth arranged in continuous dental batteries, suggesting that the animal sliced up plants. Like other ceratopsians, this dinosaur may have been a herd animal, traveling in large groups, as suggested by bone beds. The first fossil remains of Styracosaurus were collected in Alberta, Canada in a formation now called the Dinosaur Park Formation in 1913. In 1935 the spot was revisited to uncover missing lower jaw and most of the skeleton. An unusual feature of this first skull is that the smallest frill spike on the left side is partially overlapped at its base by the next spike. It appears that the frill suffered a break at this point in life and was shortened by about 6 cm. Another fossils were also found in Montana, United States in 1930, however it was just piece of the neck frill bone. Styracosaurus, and other horned, dinosaurs are often depicted in popular culture as herd animals. A bone bed composed of Styracosaurus remains is known from the Dinosaur Park formation of Alberta, about halfway up the formation. This bone bed is associated with different types of river deposits. The mass deaths may have been a result of otherwise non-herding animals congregating around a waterhole in a period of drought, with evidence suggesting the environment may have been seasonal and semi-arid. The large nasal horns and frills of Styracosaurus are among the most distinctive facial adornments of all dinosaurs. Their function has been the subject of debate since the first horned dinosaurs were discovered. It was suggested that they only served as anchor point for jaw muscles. However it was long believed that ceratopsians like Styracosaurus used their frills and horns in defense against the large predatory dinosaurs of the time. In 2015 a skull was discovered that suggests that individual variation of horns was possible, just like with deers. It is suggested that Styracosaurus ate mostly ferns. However some scientists suggest that it may have knocked down trees to feed on their leaves. Styracosaurus teeth were arranged in groups called batteries. Older teeth on top were continually replaced by the teeth underneath them.